Imagine the world without rules and regulation where you can do whatever you want. Well, things will be very complicated and in disorder. By the end of this video, we are going to see the various C standards and their importance. Dennis Ritchie designed the C programming language in order to redevelop the Unix operating system, right? Ken Thompson started the Unix project, right? In order to create a portable operating system because by then operating system were very specific, right? So they want something like a general purpose operating system. Okay. Ken Thompson started this project, which was later on joined by Dennis Ritchie. And in 1972, Dennis Ritchie designed the C programming language, which was based on the B programming language. Now, um, Ken Thompson was the person that created the B programming language. By 1978, Brian Cunningham and Dennis Ritchie released a renowned book called the C programming language right now this book was known as K and RC okay in 1989 the first standard specification of the C programming language known as the ANSI-C was released this is also referred to as ANSI-C or C89 by the year 1990 right this ANSI-C become um, an international version under this label ISO slash CEI 9899 um, Cologne 1990 okay this is also known as C90 okay therefore and C C C90 C89 all refer to the same standard in 1995 some minor features and correction were added to the C90 it is also called C90 amendment 1 or you can still call it C95 okay the label under which this um, version was released is known as, I'm going to write it down. In 2000, a new international C standard was uh, released, adding a great number of features and corrections. This is commonly called C99. Other standards of C has been released. Okay, we also have C11. Now, the current version of the C programming language as of 2022 is called C17. The other standard above change over time based on user requirements but the embedded C standard was proposed to customize the C language in such a way that it can cater to the needs of embedded system computer produced by different manufacturer have different machine language as a result a lot of non-standard feature were used in C program written for embedded system so in 2008 the C committee came up with a standardization document that everyone um, is required to follow the embedded C syntax is mostly the same as the normal C, okay? Just additional features like fixed point arithmetic. For more information, you can really check the link um, on the description below. The philosophy of the C programming language have not changed over time. Therefore, the different standards is just correcting errors and introducing new features and also refining some constructs. So I want us to really talk now about what really is a standard. We have seen the various C standard right up to C17. What is a standard? A standard is just a document that is a specification intended to reduce the variation in C language implemented across different compilers. Okay, what does it mean? The C programming language is a compiled language, right? This means your source code is being compiled or translated into machine binary, okay, into 0 and 1, into the native language which the computer understands. Right now we have different computers with different processor architect. Now I want you to assume that you were to write a program using an assembly language right because an assembly language is not like it's not like a one programming tool right an assembly language is just a collection of two that means each processor has its own assembly code or assembler the C standard tries to reduce the different variation that is found on different processor this is why the C committee have to create a standard in which everybody has to adhere to this compiler vendor will implement the standard which which has been released by the C committee and they will also add more okay in our next video we are going to understand the various um, areas and um, that we can have from a compiler because certain um, features are not um, implemented across all um, the compilers because you might use a certain feature on a compiler and you use that same feature on another compiler is not going to work the compilers also add their own feature okay 
so for example under the gcc compiler you can use a macro such as um, hash define underscore gunu source now this is just issue of portability right this simply means okay i want you to use the feature which are not described under the c standard so it's just an issue of portability and if you use this your code will not run on certain platform so you should be aware and again at the beginning of this video i said uh, the c programming language was really designed to redevelop the unix operating system that means the c programming language is closely tied with the unix operating system but this don't necessarily means that um, programs written on the c programming language will run only on the unix operating system no but if you it will programs written on the c programming language will run on any platform be it desktop mobile um, embedded whatever platform you have programs written under the c programming language will run on it based on the fact that you you have the right compiler okay you have the compiler for that platform that understands the c standard and is going to produce the machine binary okay i hope that is very clear and, and if you don't understand anything i've said you should try to comment and i will try to um, explain again in this video we are going to implement the c standard this means whatsoever compiler you will use the program on this or the example that i will write in this in this course will, is going to run across all the platform because it is portable but by the way i created the next video which i download um the compiler so thought it wise it, it is good for me to talk about the standard and why we have different compilers right because if you are new to c you might be like why do we have different compilers as compared to other programming language such as python also for java java just have one compiler actually java is an interpreted language same as python python and java are interpreted language so they have interpreter not actually compiler the reason why we have um, many compiler under the c programming languages is because our program is being compiled into the native code in which the computer understand so as a result things will work differently across different platform across different architect so we need to have a standard that will try to reduce the variation across different platform right so in essence that is um, the reason why we have different c standards in this video i will be most of the codes or um, is written on windows right um, if you're on any other platform it don't really matter but if you're on any other platform the code will run on your platform be it linux or mac the, your code will run but i will be writing most of the example on windows and the tool i will use is um, msvc okay one thing i want to um, say is if you're new into c programming language or you have been programming before i don't know your background but i want you to any um, compiler you pick any compiler you you decide i want you to take some time read the documentation of the compiler okay because most features have been implemented um, by compilers which are not under the c standard okay um, these are known as implementation behavior so um, in our next video um, i'm going to download some compilers um, i'll be working on windows and so i hope this has been informative and, and i will see you in the next video